once again back into the breach. This is Felden the Second. He's a very interesting looking character. Same as before. Bit of a chonky boy. All the same traits as last time. Uh, we started up in Phallus Lake again. And we are going to try and get back to where we were. And continue on with the game as was. So, uh, basically, we are going to probably nick this TV if we can find a car nearby. <laughs> we'll tune that in just in case, because I don't know what time of day it is at the minute. Uh, but we are going to have a look around and see what we can find in this house. Hmm, interesting. A gun already. Not that we can use it, but we might as well take it. Ah, one o'clock in the morning. Interesting. And we'll take farming five just in case. So, what do we have for food? We'll take the orange with us for a snack just in case. And we are going to head out and see what we can find. Let's have a look at the map and see where we are as well. Okay, we are... we're up here. And it looks like I've retained all the uh, map markings I'd made before, which is handy. So, that is where we are going. And we're not too far away. That's something, at least. Well, let's head out and see what we can find. Oh, hello, we've got a van right here. I hear a zombie, but I don't see it anywhere. Ah, there's a couple down there. Let's have a look in the back of this van. Maybe there's a weapon we can use. It's locked, of course. Sadly, there's no sign of a key around here, I don't think. We'll have a quick, quick look in, uh, uh, what's this, forage mode, just in case we can find one. But at this time of night, I don't think we're going to have any luck. Oh, well, that worked out. We shanked him with a butter knife. <laughs> Sadly, nothing else useful. And there's another one. Maybe we should go inside and sleep till the morning so we can see a bit better what's going on. Especially since we just broke our knife. Yeah, let's get back inside and sleep till the morning. Okay, it is now six o'clock and there's a cooking show on the telly. So we are going to watch that and uh, then head out hopefully once daylight has arrived. Well, there we go. We got a couple of cooking points. And let's have a look outside, see if it's brightened up at all. Well, it seems to, seems to have. Let's just close that door. I wish that van was working, but sadly not. So, let's work our way down to where we were previously, and uh, check out a couple of these houses, see if we can find ourselves a weapon. Aha, a digital watch. And another Beretta. We will grab that and save it, just in case. Okay, we got ourselves a better leather jacket and a shotgun. Can we at least find a melee weapon around here? 
Oh, we'll have a way with that can opener. And... Yeah, let's get all of this as well, minus the dish towel. Stale, uncooked pasta. Thank you, no. And there's nothing else good in here by the look of it. So... I would hate to have to use this shotgun at the moment, but... Oh yeah, we did check there. If we need to, we need to. So, in fact, uh, let's reload it, just for safety. It only takes two shells. But if we have to, we have to. Until we can find something better. I hear a helicopter in the distance. After the last time, that does not bode well. Oh, thank goodness we've got in. Close that window as well. Now this might be a safe helicopter. I don't trust it. Rolling pin, perfect, we'll equip that. That we can at least stab a, or club a few things with, if needed. Now that helicopter might have been a safe helicopter, but I don't know. We may find that we get, uh, uh, we have something dropped outside possibly. Uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, leaflets, pamphlets of some sort might get dropped outside. Which would be not a terrible thing. Aha, uh -huh. a beret. Let's wear that. We've turned into a right beatnik now, haven't we? <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else in here we particularly need. So, let us... Through the doors quick, just in case we need to get back in here in a hurry. And let's head on out to the next house, after we mark that one off on the map. A slightly smaller X, and we've done that one as well. Okay. Oh, balls. That's not good. Run away! Although I think we've uh, come down to a good spot. This is the large fence that they cannot climb over. Okay, house alarm has gone off, that's a good sign. Rotten chicken, some cans of food we don't have any space for. A saucepan. Yeah, we could hit things with that too. But we've got the rolling pin for now, so... I think we'll be okay. Hmm, let's have a look at that map. Riverside. Interesting. Okay, hopefully... That has all bypassed for now. Yep, I think we'll leave them there. And make a run for it to what was and will still be our base. Oh, crikey, quite a few here now. trying to get in or out of somewhere. Oh, they're attacking the walls. 
and my rolling pin's broken. That's not a good sign. No sign of a weapon there. We are going to equip one of these. Let's equip it in both hands if we can. There's not time. Oh dear. I see myself in there. Oh, balls. This has not gone well. Beating on a box. I'm sorry, Felden. It has to be this way. I'm so sorry. run back in and grab some stuff off of ourselves. Oh, just in time for the uh, carpentry show. <laughs> Perfect. Oh boy, what a mess. Okay, First, oh there's another zombie out here somewhere. There's two of them. Let's pop back in, have a quick drink of water, and rest for a minute. And then figure out exactly what we are going to do. Well, we're going to have to go and take care of that zombie out the front in just a second. Mmm, exciting. Okay, that's the exertion problem sorted out. We are now less winded. Which is a good thing. So, let's pop our rolling pin in here. For now, we'll have to come back and reread all those books. I'm glad we didn't uh, destroy them. Uh, first order of business. Let's see. We're going to sort out our inventory quick. The plank will pop down here and see if we can uh, perhaps use it to do something. Okay, uh, let's see, what to do now? Well, let's have a look at Felden and see what we can take from him. Let's take those keys. Well, at least we are back here again. And we are going to take the watch that can go in the thing. Oh, cooking as well. Let's pop that book away. So yes, uh, let's sort out the inventory and then see where we are. Okay, so we've got all our inventory stuff sorted out and this is what we are going to do. We are going to take these two planks with us. We have some nails. We are going to take our former Felden self and we are going to have a burial for Felden. Going to grab the uh, shovel out the back of the truck because I think we picked one up last time. Now let's just grab that. We're going to come over here. Uh, 
and have to deal with this lady. Who wants to get involved? Leave us alone. Bad zombies. Somebody had stuck a fork in her. Okay. Well, we are going to dig a grave. And since we've got the shovel, we're going to dig another one down here. Perhaps two, so we can clean up some of this mess. And you know what, buddy? You can be the first, the second, to join us. Come on. You can stay there for a minute. We have more important things to deal with. They're going to take Felden the first. And we are going to commemorate him to the ground. Thus. And he's the only one we are going to put in here because this is Felden the first. And, uh, with any luck, we can do carpentry and, yes, if I can, there it is. Here lies Felden. He was a great Felden. He was the first, and he will be remembered. And this little bugger. can just go in this one. So yes, there we go. We'll be cleaning up some of the mess from around here, so it's no longer attracting flies, as it were. And uh, I wonder how many we can shove in the back of the truck. We'll see. Uh, but yes, we shall end it there as we clean up our mess a little bit and reflect on what has happened. And I shall see you again next time as we continue on in our quest to find a farm and survive in the apocalypse again. <laughs> Cheerio, everyone.